Good afternoon. I just wanted to go over the parts of an energy diagram with an example of hydrogen, H2, gas, reacting with oxygen, O2 gas, to form H2O in its gaseous state. Okay, so for this reaction, we're going to start at an energy of zero with our reactants, H2 plus O2. And in order to start this reaction, we have to put in a certain amount of energy. That is going to be our activation energy. So over here, I'm going to do my little key. EA is activation energy, the energy required to start the reaction. Okay, and the amount of energy we have to put in depends on what your reactants are. What is that energy? That energy is actually the bonds that you start with breaking. So in order to form water, which is going to be our product, we have to break this hydrogen and oxygen apart. So we have H to H, and there are two of them because I forgot to balance this. We need two waters to balance the oxygens out, and that gives us four hydrogens, so we will need two hydrogens on the left. Okay, so we have two of these H to H bonds being broken and one of these O to O bonds, one, and it's a double bond between the oxygens. If we draw the Lewis structure, we'll see that it needs a double bond there. Okay, so we are breaking two of these and one of these to get this reaction started. We will end up forming new bonds. So bonds formed will be between the hydrogen and the oxygen. And since we're making two water molecules, let's draw them up here. There's one and there's two. We are making four oxygen to hydrogen bonds. Here's our H to H that we had to break and our O to O. So broken, 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 formed, 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 formed. And every time we break a bond, it's gonna be an endothermic process. So you have to put in energy here. We're gonna get energy back out over here when we make our new bonds. Okay, so four of these are formed. And how much do we have to put in? Well, we can look up the bond energy of these and each hydrogen to hydrogen is about 436 kilojoules to break apart. There are two of them, so we need twice that amount. The oxygen to oxygen double bond is about 498 kilojoules to break apart. So total, we have to put in 1,370 kilojoules. So this is gonna go up almost to this 1,500 here. Okay, we have to put in that much energy. Where are we gonna end? Well, how much do we get back out? The oxygen to hydrogen is 459 kilojoules that we will get out. So every time we form one of these OH bonds, we get this much energy given off because this side is exo, and this side is endo. This is heat going in, this is heat coming out. So total out will be 1,836 kilojoules. So from this point going down 1,800, we're gonna end up almost to this line down here. Okay, we're gonna end up down here. So we need to connect our graph there. And this is the energy diagram of the formation of water. So the enthalpy of formation of water in its standard state is going to be the difference between these two things, delta H, of formation of H2O. And what is that? That is this amount, okay, how much we got out, minus this amount, how much we put in. And when we do that math, we will see that it's negative 466 kilojoules. That negative means heat is given off. I can add that up here to my reaction. I'm going to put it right below. Plus, I could put plus heat or I can put the actual amount now that we know it. There's 466 kilojoules. So my products